is thunder. Wake up and smell the coffee. Well that's an old saying that I always liked because it was very descriptive and also I like putting it up there right now because of people are waking up and smelling the coffee. I'm, I'm kind of happy because there's people starting to trickle in, send me their emails send me their addresses say hey put me on the list you know and it's not like a firestorm of people but the way I look at it is the ones that are coming in and say hey put me on the list might not be many but they're probably quality people that are really thinking about the whole metaphor and reality of the campfire council and the fact of the warmth of it both in a real sense and in the sense of the fire sitting or you know I mean the, not the fire but the uh, well the fire inside of people the light inside of people being warm from the heart and then it could also mean wake up and smell the coffee could also mean waking up by that campfire and smelling the coffee in the morning we need to get out of the city people and and this is this is what I'm talking about and people are starting to wake up and I'm looking for quality people here in this campfire council and I have some already some people that I've known a long time and others are starting to trickle in getting interested in this because hey they realize that you're gonna have to get out of the cities and it's gonna come to a point where it's gonna be tribal and we're gonna have to rely on each other <laughs> it's real simple and if you don't believe it about you know flashpoints and it could happen tomorrow and we all might all have to band together just look what's going on in the Ukraine right now people go where's the Ukraine well half the people don't know but it's right next to Russia and it's a Russian it was a Russian territory or part of Russia or whatever but all Russian people live there mostly and they have a huge sub base down there in Sevastopol in the Crimea which is on a peninsula down at the bottom of the Ukraine right by the Black Sea that's where they keep all their n nuclear subs Russians and it's kind of heating up over there you know people have different opinions about well, Russia's the bad guy. Well, that's what the USA wants you to think because they've always wanted us to think that. But like I said today to somebody, why is it that, Ru that everybody thinks Russia's the bad guy? Just like, just like they thought Indians were the bad guys. No, but why is it that everybody thinks Russia's the bad guy when the USA are, are the ones that after World War II under Operation Paperclip took all the Nazis that were working on all these weird death machines and rockets and all this to guess where they came in here 
to the USA and we gave them asylum and they permeated into our culture with their thoughts and their ideas and we turned against the Russians who are our allies in World War II and now all of a sudden the Russians are the bad guys well they have been over the years they were the first ones to put Sputnik which was the first satellite that ever rotated around the earth and they had the best women snipers in the world in fact maybe the best snipers bar none so they're not somebody that should be looked at as you know the evil society or whatever they want us to believe everybody's has goodness and right now America's trying to paint them as the bad guys and they're invading and no they're just protecting their territory just like the Indians did and that's my political commentary for the day or it could all be arranged you know ahead of time okay you go play the you're, you, you've always been known as the bad guy, so go over there and play the bad guy. And it could all be manipulation of countries, although <laughs> it might be pur purposeful manipulation, but we don't know. And the, and the reason that we don't know is they don't want us to know. And so that's why we need to get out of the cities before any kind of mistake happens and even if they're in collusion mistakes happen okay that's how world war one started so anyway i'm really happy about the people joining up and all you got to do to join up in the campfire council is which is going to be like a non-profit you have to go to my website down below camp campfire council dot com and it's campfire dash council dot com but I put a link down there anyway you want to go there and check it out and check out the statement of purpose which is just awesome if I do say so myself read it carefully and go back to my video it was either previous video the one before that I think it was the one campfire council membership free I think it was that one so I'll put that link down there I might put a couple of links to my past videos that coincide with this one because more people are like listening and they're realizing that thunder is a truth teller okay so you got to be a truth teller this is the magic ingredient a truth teller that leaves whatever you say thoughts open for your own consideration so that you decide I'm just here giving you information but if you like what you hear and you feel like it's the truth then act on it and join the campfire council go to the link below send me an email which I will put down here and say hey I want to be a member be sure it include your name and address phone is optional because I realize people are touchy about that if at some point you want to give me your phone number or if I request it to talk to you personally then we can do that so keep that in mind it's important that I get that address though just to make it legitimate and to possibly put you on a newsletter and there is a newsletter that you can sign up but that's an older newsletter but there are hundreds of people on it I still use it but I'm going to start a new newsletter called Campfire Council Newsletter 
and I'm going to put everybody that sends me their address and might be a good idea to include your email yes too while I'm at it because I notice there's a couple of people that didn't do that so include your address and your email phone number optional now what this plan is and I'm just gonna run it down real quick we're trying to get out of the cities and get some donations in all forms and I've already formed the corporation or whatever you church or whatever you want to call it so that we are free of certain constraints and we're still working on on working around you know if you want to donate and you want to deduct it we're still working on loopholes but that's the main thing find a legal loophole and like I said half the time you you donate to charities and this is a charity because I don't know if you people know this but any proceeds I get from my book listen to the wind speak from the heart goes part parts of the the proceeds go to five different charities around the world so just just so you know that we're holding to that charitable thing with each other in the group and outside of the group and tribes right here in other tribes other than the tribal council campfire council some point I'll figure out the uh, some of the tribal names for Campfire Council and we'll do a little thing on that but the, the, the purpose is is to get out of the cities and to you know to band together and to be out somewhere get some land maybe I'm looking northern Arizona that's what I'm th that's the thought I'm putting out there but I'm open that kind of terrain you know what I'm saying pine trees little deserty here pine trees there that's what I like about Arizona is it has all that and it's sacred the four corners the Hopi the Kachinas the ancient Pueblo people said that was a sacred place and probably a safer place I'll go with their judgment on that one. So think about joining up. We'd love to have you. And it's going to be awesome. And we are going to make donations and we are going to contribute things that we have. I'm just waiting for people to realize that whatever they have, whatever possessions they have, or Whatever they have saved up in the bank account for whatever, banks won't be here. So get your money out, number one. I'd get that out right now. I've already closed my bank account. <laughs> so if they decide that they need money, they'll go in and just... I don't know if you people know how banks operate, but... When you put $100 in there, only about 10 of it is in there. They take 90 out to do other things with, buy stocks and get involved in their kind of gambling. So if you went to get all 100 bucks out, you're, or, you know, let's say it's 100,000, 100, you'd probably be okay. But say you have 100,000 in there, you're not going to get it all out, probably. And at some point, it may just disappear. So why not take some of that money now instead of waiting to some fictitious retirement date? And use it for what you want. Okay. And, and yes, we take donations here. I'm not saying donate it all to me now, but you can help the council the campfire council as a whole by all of you donating and all of us working together in a cooperative method or 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 
agenda and using it for good things like land and, and, and some RVs and some prefab homes and you know maybe some trees around out in the forest there in the campfire and we can all meet and there's a grassy area and we can go tracking together and we can learn nature skills and we can learn shamanistic skills and we can learn self-defense skills yes self-defense skills both martial arts hand-to-hand -hand, bows firearms all of that stuff is welcome because it's going to be used in a responsible manner and when the hordes from the cities come out what are you going to do you're going to be you're going to offer resistance so they'll go somewhere else that's the plan so think about it and like I said before love to have you now when you go to this website below it also have li has links to my books listen to the wind speak from the heart and emergence which are gonna become probably listen to the wind speak from the heart is gonna become kinda like the textbook of campfire council <laughs> one of them one of many but it has been used in colleges in the humanities classes and it has a lot of Native American tradition and an emergence even might be something you might want to look into even though it's a novel that's chock full of shamanistic and spiritual information I call it a shaman's Bible hidden within the pages of a novel and I'm gonna put flashes of that up those two things as I'm leaving here the closing the show so I just wanted to come on say thank you to the people that are uh, already on board and thank you to the people that I know are already going to come on board because like I say it's trickling in and I'd rather have quality than quantity okay right now and if you have a particular talent you might want to tell me about it whether it's in a you know construction trade or music or whatever because there's going to be all kinds of tribal people and all kinds of other people and you know this is not a racial exclusion thing everybody's welcome so We'll leave it there for now, and I'll just put those flashes of my books up on the way out, and I'll just say adios, amigos. See you soon. We'll be talking on other subjects later.